any one of the four was willing and wanted to go to jail with me or for me. <laughs> of course, they weren't allowed, but if they had been, I'd been <laughs> gladly um, allowed that to happen. Um, does anybody have questions? You prefaced uh, about uh, the four with Tom Ring before. Is that the Tom Ring of Freeport, Maine, the former tugboat captain in New York Harbor? No, this is Tom Ring, Ringo of Gloucester, Massachusetts. <laughs> ah, fish okay. with, yeah, yeah, he fished with me um, for years on the Hannah Boat and Ringo. still a very good friend. I'm still trying to talk him into going with me this season. You know, so we'll see. Yeah, he's a great guy. Questions? Yes? Did these men get seasick? <laughs> Almost every one of them. <laughs> yeah, they did. Um, we had every seasick remedy known to man on the boat. Um, this guy, Archie, who's a really great friend and a, a great guy, he sort of became like the father of everyone, and he like brought a bushel basket of, you know, a Dramamine, Bonine, the uh, patches you put behind your ear, uh, ginger, anything you can imagine. We had lots of it on the boat, and um, some of it helped some of them some of the time. <laughs> yes. How does uh, television impact a trip like that? At first, um, you know, the TV crew, we had two, um, two people on the boat with us and uh, three cameras hard mounted. So two people running around with cameras. We were mic'd all the time unless we were in our bunk or <coughs> in the head. We, had, we were wearing a microphone. Um, so at first, it's very intrusive and they say, you know, just pretend we're not here. It's very difficult. <laughs> But then, you know, when you really get into all the problems that we had this trip and really trying to keep things together, trying to catch fish, we just got so busy that we really did, you couldn't really forget that they were there, but we just went about our business, and um, which was good. I mean, it made for great TV, so we were just doing our thing. Yeah. Yes? Did you have a successful catch, and what did you do with the swordfish that you catch? Um, our catch was, was okay. It was not, was not great. It wasn't over the top. We had like 20,000 pounds of fish, which is no, by no means um, a great trip. Um, we landed in Newfoundland and unloaded our fish there and shipped them to um, Boston. Yeah, so that's, uh, by unloading in Newfoundland, it saves us um, like 10 days every trip steaming back and forth. It's a day and a half each way instead of five days each way, yes? Oh, why do you like sword fishing over other kinds of fishing? Um, I love sword fishing over other types of fishing, primarily because it's just uh, more of a challenge to catch a sword fish. They're really elusive. Um, the trips are more of an adventure. Uh, we're going, you know, a thousand miles from the dock. We're staying for 30 days. We fish and sink with the lunar cycle. Um, the fish are big. They're alive when they come aboard. They're they're beautiful. They're um, they, they put up a big fight. So it's um, you know a lot of them get away, which makes it that much more challenging. Um, we use these uh, by law. We're required to use circle hooks now um, since I've re-entered the fishery. And the circle hooks are a wonderful thing for the industry, for the resource because uh, every fish is hooked in the corner of the mouth. So they never adjust the hook like the old uh, J-hooks. Um, when we fished with J-hooks, a large number of the fish were dead when they came aboard. The circle hook, I mean, it's okay, there's a fish, and you're not necessarily, it's next to the boat, you're not necessarily going to get it on the boat because it is really, you know, putting up a fight and thrashing around. Um, another beautiful thing, well, I'll just add this about the circle hook, um, is if you catch a juvenile fish, you pop the hook out and release it. It swims away, alive, which in the past, you know, if you had a small fish too small to keep and it was dead, that's very wasteful. So the circle has been very good for the industry. Yes? Um, one more a question regarding from before when you fished to now. Can you comment on the um, change in regulations, how that that's, if there's been a lot of change in regulations as affected fishing? Um, I will I would like to uh, you know say that the whole time the first twenty years that I was fishing I kept hearing um, about the swordfish dot being deployed.